Alright guys and girls on YouTube, here's another review, well, a review, not in computer tech related, on the on the Sony Ericsson W350 from AT&T, there's the AT&T logo, um, so let's get to the hardware review, here is the charging port, port, which I don't like for the fact of the reason that it uses the Sony Ericsson proprietary jack it doesn't use the uh, mini USB which I love using but what can you do Sony Ericsson is gonna stick with that for a while nothing right here in the bottom here in the sides we got two keys one right here volume marker in the top we got a thing for a lanyard loop a lock key right here to lock the screen while this is closed a music key which automatically starts up the music player while the phone is open like that and the front here we got play um, rewind I think and fast forward yep. and this is how you scroll the music now weird thing about this phone is, is that this touch pad right here touches this right here and the phone the keys this is not really a button thing it touches the keys right here right so exactly what I'm trying to say is that's kinda weird because when you close this you're really not touching no button actual button this is just touching the keys right here um, so that's another thing to know about um, the microphone is right there the mic Sony Ericsson logo the keys are pretty much uh, if you want to say it's pretty cramped for my kind of fingers I can really I can press four buttons at the same time yes it's kind of hard to text with I don't recommend this phone if you are a texter just because the keys are too small um, this dial pad right here is pretty big for you to use um, here's the clear clear and this is how you go back to like a menu previous menu to the screen which is kind of weird I wish they just would have changed this because now I happen to see myself clicking this side of the thing right here all the time to go back or try to go to the home screen which you really need to click this so guys I pretty have this macroed up so if you see me go back the screen starts to lose resolution that's because I have it macroed up so there you go AT&T logo, Sony Ericsson logo, there is a little grip right here but it doesn't bother me pretty thin phone, lightweight guys very white, very lightweight Another thing to note is that this right here is very flimsy, which what I'm gonna say is this thing can break. Um, it can come off. It can come off, right? And you can use this outside, but it's gonna look very weird rocking a phone because this looks practically broken right now, right? So if you use this outside, people are gonna be like, "Hey, is something missing out of his phone right there?" So you want to keep this in here. So and it's not that. Uh, hard to put it back in there you go it just snaps in but you gotta be careful because sometimes this thing doesn't install right so there you go I don't know why this is not installing right one second guys sorry I got it uh, come on alright so when you install it it's pretty much hard to pretty a little hard because you gotta put it a certain way so it can close sometimes when you put it in it just doesn't go down all the way it'll just pop up so just make sure you're putting this back in alright now going into the screen since I have this macroed up, macroed up when you do flip this thing open it takes you to the home screen right there not to the home screen but it takes you to the AT&T logo right here I'm trying to see you guys can see this right there it takes you to the home screen when you close it, it takes you to the music menu, which has my music in it. I only have like 14 songs in there, just because I just got the phone two days ago, and I just don't, I really don't use this. I use my Nano for the music, but here's one song for you guys to hear. The speaker is pretty loud for what you get with this phone.
There you go. So when you flip this closed, it automatically goes to the music player. You cannot scroll anything, just the music player while this is closed, which kind of sucks. I wish there was an option to use the screen while this thing was closed, but you can't. Um, you can close this while you talk on the phone, so that's another thing. So here, let's go to the menu. Here we got all the apps and everything. Um, the camera's decent. Um, you can use the camera while the music is playing, but the shutter noise will stop it. So that's really it. Um, you can use your applications, Yahoo. I mean your Mail, Yahoo, AOL. You got AIM. You cannot use Gmail, which pretty much sucks again because I really do love Gmail. It's the only email client I use, and it's pretty fast. The only reason I like Gmail is because there's no ads in their in their, G, in their email, which makes it so fast. So that's my review on this phone. Pretty much it. Alright guys, sorry that this wasn't computer tech related. I just want to get it out. See you guys.